All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, those are meant to be a short video, so we can learn how to answer the Muslims about claims they do make. Uh, today we have uh, a Muslim who called us, and he claimed that uh, Muhammad, he said that the Arab, they would have high buildings. And he make it as a sign of a judgment day. Now, as, as we see, I mean, the, the Arab, they have high building since long time ago, and since the oil came, and the American discovered it, and the judgment day is not coming yet. However, let us learn together how we can show the Abdul that their prophet is a false prophet. Always you need to remember that there is a certain method you need to do when you talk to Muslims. Muslims are copy-paste people. They have no idea what they are talking about. All what they know that somebody said that the prophet said, etc., etc. But nobody want to use his brain when we talk to them. So listen to this conversation in order to get an idea how this cult function. Let us see. My friend, I don't, I, see, I, I don't see you, all of you. Morning. I cannot see you, all of you. Why? Because you are too short. I don't know. I don't know. Now, this is Mecca. Look with me on the screen. Let me show you the screen. Okay. Where is the mountains around Mecca? Do you see mountains? I'm not seeing it yet. Well, this is the screen in front of me. This is the Kaaba. Where is the mountains? There is small, tiny hills. They are not mountains. And where is the, the, the building in the top of the high mountains? Where we can find them? That's the, the buildings would suppress the mountains. The, the, what mountains? There's no mountains. Those are small, tiny hills. They are not mountains. It's a small desert. There's no mountains here. Where? The, uh, the, the, the places where it's high, we can say it's high. It's far away from the Kaaba. And there's no buildings. Here we go. As an example, this one. You can tell from the pictures the, the buildings are down. Do you see the buildings? Here we go. They are down in the valley. They are not in the mountain. This is Mecca. No, the buildings of this Mecca. This is Mecca, my are... friend. This is Mecca. This is Mecca. Here we go. You see, all no, the no, houses, no. all the houses are down. Okay, now, so now, now you prove to us, you prove to us that your prophet is a false prophet because he predicted oh. if if buildings are high in Mecca, this is will be the judgment day, and the buildings are high yes. in Mecca since more than fifty years ago. So this is a big yes, fat it's, sign, it's, big fat lie. Your prophet he made. You have to admit now. No. So where is the judgment day? No. Where is the judgment day? It's coming close. When? When? Ahmed even says that the Arabs would build tall buildings oh, oh, and oh, 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 look at the, the Arab. They have the Arab. High, the Arab have high buildings since long time ago. Don't you never saw the pictures of Yemen, my friend? Don't you know? Don't you know Yemen? You never heard of Yemen? Don't you know Yemen? Hold on. Don't you know that Yemen? Do you, do you, do you want to show you the buildings in Yemen? Building in Yemen are high buildings, long time ago. So there's nothing new. The Arab, they build high buildings since long time ago. In the time of Muhammad, before Muhammad, thousands of years before you Muhammad. Of, you ever heard of Dubai? Abdul. Muhammad says, Africa will be called painting, and who can build the tallest building? Okay, let me show you the hadith, because this hadith proved again that Muhammad... There's is thousands a, of Okay, hadith. hold on, hold on. No, this hadith, the one you mentioned to me about the, the, your said Dubai, right? Okay, here we go. Let me find it so everybody will laugh. Okay. There we go. This is the hadith your prophet he mentioned. It says here. Uh, the judgment day will not come until the following things. Read with me carefully. The hour will not establish until two big groups fight each other, whereupon there will be a great number of casualties on both sides, 
and they will be following one and this and and the same religion and doctrine that's mean there is a group that will be victorious and there is only one religion in the whole world and then second tell no. about my don't shut up this is your prophet say respect your prophet tell no, he's not saying shut up tell about 30 the, the 30 the jazz liars 30 the jazz there's 30 there's 30 the yes. jazz. <laughs> okay hold on and each one of them and each one of them all on abdul and each one of them will claim that he is allah and shut up shut up and each one of them he will claim that he is allah messenger let us continue then hold on they tell the religious knowledge is taken away so no muslim will be left no scholars will be left all muslims have no scholars there's no muslims all muslims are gone shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up Earthquake, hold on, hold on. Earthquake will increase. Hold on, shut up, shut up. Time will pass quickly. A flication will appear. Al harj, which means like people they will start killing each other, etc. They will increase. And till till the wealth will be abundance. How wealth will be abundance if people are killing each other? That will be funny. So abundance, abundant that a wealthy person will worry. Last nobody should accept his zakat. It's hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. And then, and whoever will present, whoever will all oh, set up. Let me read, man. Respect, respect your prophet. And whoever will present, uh, uh, present it to someone, that person who is will, will be offered to, will say, I am not in need of it. So time will come that people will not need money. That is heaven, my friend. That's this is fiction. How the how the world no. will go in chaos? How people they will kill each other, and then people will not need money. Okay, continue. That's 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 a law. Tell the people complete oh. just shut up one under construction high buildings, but we have high buildings since long time ago Till a man oh. when passing by a grave of someone will say with that I wear in his place He wished that to be in his place, you know how there's people do not need money no more And yet people will not wish to be wish to be in the grave and then until this till the Sun rises from the West So your prophet he claimed that the Sun will rise from the West. So when the Sun will rise from uh, 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 the people will see rising from the west. They will, they will, and they will all believe in braces now. But that will be the time when Allah said, "No good will be due to any soul." So, which means will not accept to, to accept Islam no more. Now, where? In, hold on. This is the hate in front of you. All right. No, I'm seeing it. So, so if we if we go by, hold on, hold on. If we go by by your prophet, he said that there's a thirty that Jal will come first. And yes. then, and then, war between two groups will happen. Okay, name for me the thirty yes. Dajjal will will happen before Mecca have uh, high buildings. Name the thirty Dajjal. First, there's twenty three Dajjals already up here. in the last fifty years. Name, name them I for me. Name name them for me the thirty Dajjal. They claim they claim to be the Prophet Muhammad. Who who is? I don't want to call them. You are the, you are the one who knows. Tell me, tell me, tell me who are they? Those three messengers. They claim to be the Prophet of Allah. 20, 23 and it's already appeared 30 the jar not a 23 who are they who yeah. are the 30 the jar give me the names okay give me the give me the name of the first one oh, i don't know where to google you're a muslim tell me come on can't you tell me give me one who is the one okay, okay i'll google it but oh, sorry guys you don't see my screen i i, I apologize I, I i just noticed you don't see my screen so tell me who are they the 30 the jar because all those things have to happen before the rest will happen. So the first one, too big a group, will fight. Well, we have too big a group fought already, long time ago. It's called this, uh, the first world war and the second world war, and maybe in the future we'll have the third world war. Now, and then all the people they will become one religion. Obviously, this is not Islam. What is that religion? Christianity. Number three, till all the people that, till we have thirty Dajjal. Who are they, the thirty Dajjal? Name one. So as you see here, Abdul, if you look with me. The, the 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 one about high buildings it have to happen long after all those lists of things happen which mean after no. the two groups shut up after the two group fight after the third no. the jail pass and then after no. the religious are taken away which means there's no scholar left and then no, after that saying. shut up earthquake will happen and then time will pass quickly which means time will be shortened and then a larger people will kill each other like in, a, in a, like in a madness and then the wealth will be abundant and nobody care for money and then after that after that after all those things like nine and etc and and then in number nine they will accomplish high buildings 
So you, what your prophet is saying, hold on, hold on. What your prophet, he said, he's proven to us that all of this is a lie because none oh. of the none of the eight happened before the eight, the high buildings, the high buildings already there. <laughs> He's not saying this will happen, then that will happen. Then no, it says that. It says that. Read, 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 Abdul. Read, read. Here, read with me. Read with me. The judgment day will, the hour will not be established till number one, big two group fight. Number two, till etc. Number three, number four, Wait, number Abdul. five, number Don't six. Think. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. He put them in order for a reason, supposedly because they will happen in order. Stop. And then when the sun. Abdul. When the sun rise, shut up. Let me get you busted. He said, when the sun rise from the west, then people will convert to Islam, but that will be too late. So the last thing will happen when the sun rays from the west. Stop lying. He's not saying in you order, brought you happen. brought a shame to your prophet. You call me to prove a prophecy. You prove that you are dumb like your prophet. Oh, you are a big fat liar. He's well, here we go. In the front of you, it says that the first thing will happen. The first thing, the second thing, and the last hey. thing. The last thing. What is the last thing hey. your prophet has said? What is hey. the last thing will happen? The sun will rise from the, the west. Do you agree? Do you agree? Where does he say then that will happen? It says, here we go. Happen. And then, here, read with me. Read, 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 read with me. Until, until the sun rise from the west. So when the sun will rise and the people will see it rising from the west, they all will all embrace Islam. But that yes. will be the time when Allah said, no good will do a soul believing them because this is judgment day. That's it. This is the judgment day. So the judgment day will happen now when when number 11 happened, where the sun rise from the west and then everybody say, oh, Allah, please, we will be Muslim. But then he will say to them, no, 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 it's too late. That's it. That's it. So this is the last thing to happen. So you just approved to me. And I want to say thank you Abdul, for calling me. For proving Muhammad what? to be a false prophet, I pray to God, big fat lie. It's not saying it will happen in order. It ha it says the last thing will happen is what? What is the last <laughs> thing will happen? <laughs> okay, hold on. I, I have another Abdul trying to call me. Maybe he's smarter than you. Okay. Fuck you, you. Fuck you. Uh, okay, no problem. You know, thank you for saying Quran. Hello. <laughs> All right. I'm fine, my friend. How are you? All right, we, we well we finished this topic here, so you will notice here how the Muslims, they uh, uh, you know they didn't know what to say, and how they bring shame to their prophet because the hadith in front of us proving Muhammad to be a false prophet, not a prophet. As you see, the Muslim they copy paste they keep repeating how the prophet he knew that the Arab they will have high buildings, but Muhammad he claimed that the high building would happen after all those things happened which mean after two big group have a war and one of them became victorious and that's it the whole world became one religion as you see the hour will not come and then we count one two three four okay and a great casualty will happen both sides will be following one and the same religious doctrine Till the 30 Dajjal liars appear. Until now, we did not even have one Dajjal because the Muslims are wait waiting for the Messiah, the, the false Messiah, supposedly. And then each one of them, he will claim to be Allah Messenger. Until now, we did not see that. Until the religion of knowledge is taken away, which means there's no Muslim left. All the Muslim scholars, they are gone. There's nobody knows anything about Islam. So Muhammad is saying clearly that Islam will die to the point there's no sheikhs, no imams. That's it. And then earthquake will happen, blah 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 blah. And then number nine, after all those there's eight things have to to come first, and then number nine, it says that high buildings they will be constructed. And that doesn't say by the way the Arab, it says the people, it doesn't matter who, all right. And so here you will you will notice uh Muhammad here by making such a statement. He got himself busted to be a false prophet uh, because simply all what he claimed to happen first did not happen until now, but the high building already happened. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end, the sun will rise from the west. Uh, maybe some of you will wonder why, why, uh, why the sun will rise from the west. I saw a Muslim. They are making a video saying it's a it's a science because according to science, uh, the the Earth will start uh, stop rotating 
uh, a slow will is slowing a rotation and one day is going to flip backward but this is stupid to say because it's not what Muhammad said if we go to different hadith you know this is how we get Muslim busted when they lie about what Muhammad meant I apologize my voice is tired <clears throat> you will see here uh, Muhammad he said explaining to us what happened Um, let us see. All of those are about the let us see. Everything Muslims they try to fabricate, you know, we can get it busted so easy. Um, see, the problem with this uh, with this website, it it shows you like anything have connection with the story, but not exactly the story you are looking for. So you have to look. Okay, let's uh, change the search. It is search for this part. All right. There we go. This is what Muhammad meant, and the Muslim they lie, they say that the sun will raise from the west, and this is scientific. Look what Muhammad he said. The Prophet asked me at the sunset. Do you know where the sun goes at the time of the sunset? I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. He said it goes, which means I eat the sun, I travel, till it's prostrate itself underneath the throne of Allah and takes permission to rise again. So every night the sun goes from point A to point B and sleep under the throne of Allah, which under the murky in the murky water, because the throne of Allah above the murky water, as the Quran says in chapter 18. And then the sun is permitted. Uh, uh, at the time uh, uh, to, to go and then at the time will come when it will be uh, about to prostrate itself but the prostration will not be accepted so the sun like will keep going doing this the uh, going every day from the east to the west prostrating itself under the throne of Allah and then one day the sun will go to prostrate Allah will not say stop that's it and it will be asked Permission to go back to rise again normally, but it will not be permitted, but will be ordered to return whence it has come and will rise from the West. So what Muhammad is saying that the sun is go moving every day from point A to point B, and obviously this is stupid, this is not true, proving Muhammad again to be a false prophet, because it's not the sun moving from point A to point B to have 24 hours day and day and night. This is the earth going around itself. And then Muhammad, he claimed that the sun, uh, a time will come and the sun will be asked, uh, will be asking Allah, can I go back to rise again as every day? Allah will say, no, you go back where you came from, which mean you came from the West. Go back and raise again from the West. And this is what it says here in this hadith, which Muslim they try to fabricate uh, 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 the story. If we search, if we search in, uh, let us see, uh, sunrise from the West. Just to show you the videos, all right? Look, all those videos, fabrications, the Muslim, they speak about it and they make it about science. Islam miracle, scientifically, the sun might rise from the West. You see how they make it science? Do you see? The scam, the stupidity, 
became science because they tried to imply what science teach that the earth is a, a slow in rotation and they will make it like okay fit with Muhammad what he's saying but what Muhammad was saying is totally the opposite was we showed you so the Muslims in order to always to to to, to fool you they take a statement but they don't show you the rest they don't show you the connection and this is why you have to be smart Muslims never share something truthful I never saw a Muslim sharing something truthful about his prophet so here we notice that all the prophecy of Muhammad is absolutely false here we go he's speaking about prophecy because this is a prophecy too that the Sun will rise from the West why because Allah will not allow it to go back and he will say to her go back from where you came from which is the West and the Sun goes every day and different hadith Muhammad he said that the Sun sit in the murky water hmm? Let us see. Show you the hadith, the murky water hadith. Here we go. Do you see it? I was sitting behind Allah Messenger, S A W S, who was raised, uh, uh, rising a donkey, riding a donkey, sorry. While the son was sitting, he asked, do you know where the son sat? I replied, and this is, uh, and his apostle knows best. Uh, he said, it's set in a spring of warm water. And this is exactly what the Quran said, that the sun set, uh, because Alexander the Great, he found the sun sitting in a, in a murky water. Uh, uh, see so always always you need to be careful Muslims they never share something truthful never 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 you know never I you know I don't like uh, if you see some Muslim he's honest that's that's weird that's like this guy he obviously he have something wrong with him literally he have something wrong with him you know To the Quran chapter 18 verse number 86 it says that he keep going until he found where the Sun set and he found it sitting in the muddy water all right and here you will see uh, this is in total agreement with Muhammad explanation so Muslims always they try to flip what is fiction and stupidity in the Quran and in the hadith and suddenly it became scientific suddenly became amazing suddenly Muhammad became Dr. Muhammad and suddenly Muhammad is a guy who worked for NASA and suddenly NASA are lo learning from Muhammad when the Quran is the book of idiots and fictions and stupidity the Muslims with deception they fool you and they flip what their prophets saying to make it fit with science I mean isn't it obvious I mean not, doesn't not, doesn't matter how slow you are doesn't matter how little education you have after what we showed you obviously Muhammad is a scam right so uh, is it culture lies or no, no religion religion you see uh, a Muslim is allowed to lie in order to promote Islam it's a it's an it's it's halal it's called taqiyya it's halal to defend Islam you know and they are actually proud about it once I was watching a TV a program and the Muslim Egyptian Sheikh who was saying there was a Jew He was a neighbor of a Muslim and the Muslim he says to him why you don't convert to Islam Why you don't convert to Islam the Jew he said I like to drink and I like to smoke Okay, and I believe the whole story is fabrication, but just to give you an idea and the, the the Muslim guy he said to the Jew well who said to you you cannot drink and smoke you can the Jew he said really he said yeah he said okay I will convert to Islam he said okay say shahada the Jew guy he says Shahada and then the Muslim after he said Shahada he said to him listen now you said Shahada you cannot drink and you cannot smoke 
I said what you told me I can drink and kiss I said yeah I did not tell you after you convert to Islam I said to you now so they are proud about deception about making a guy convert to Islam say Shahada fooling him about what Islam is about this is in public TV and they are proud about it so my friend this is a religion of the devil otherwise ask yourself why they are fabricating saying things is not really what their prophets said if Muslims are proud about their prophet why they are deceiving us and making lies about science and the Quran and the hadith when their prophet claimed that the Sun set because the Sun is moving from point A to point B the Muslims in the in YouTube they make tons of thousands of videos saying the opposite so why Muhammad he say something the Muslim they say something else because simply we have a religion of deception and what you accept from the devil you accept him to be honest the Bible says the father of all lies is the devil and that is Islam same time there's many naive people between us they see this they see those videos the videos Muslims they make they are professional made cause them a lot of money and if you are a naive person who don't want to read and, and, and educate yourself you know they can fool you you see here we go the Sun rising from the West Jamal Badawi Jamal Badawi is telling you how the Sun will rise this is a miracle brother but as you see it's a stupid thing we got them busted in two seconds so don't let the Muslims fool you with their lies they are they are they, they do that for living otherwise why they are lying here we go their prophet he says how the Sun will set in the West simply or it will rise from the West It's not about the earth rotating it is about the earth will not be permitted to rise again as usual Allah prophet he said that Allah will say to the Sun go back where you came in from you are not allowed to prostrate this time as before so the lies they make it's beyond the imagination and all what we need little education and we will get them busted this is the hadith I'm going to post it for you let me show you the reference the one is getting it busted this is Sahir Bukhari hadith number 399 uh, 3199 all right this is Sahir Bukhari hadith number 3199 they can't say it's a lie they can't say it's weak this is a hair Bukhari so please learn how to get them busted I'm not going to stay longer with this video so you can download it you can share it around and I want to say thank you for being here and then maybe later if I can stay a week more but my voice is tired uh, or maybe later I will make a video about uh, you know I'm trying just to make short videos of what we receive of phone calls of Muslims so we can study it analyze it and show you how deception work in this cult so thank you very much for being here I hope you guys did enjoy uh, learning don't forget to download the video and don't forget to join us and tell your friends and subscribe if you did not subscribe yet thank you may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that see you bye bye